and I'm here with a book unboxing from an author in England named PJ Ferguson. He sent me this like ginormous box and I'm like super excited because I already know what's inside of it because I kind of cheated and read the label but that's fine. <laughs> but I'm really excited because it's like super nice. Okay, I can't use keys. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where are my sisters? <laughs> so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> no! I'm doing this an alternative way. I with care. See? There's a lot of stuff in this. It is so, like, generous of PJ. Like, I can't even, like, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. So I'm going to talk about the book last because it's, like, the most important part of this whole box. So not going to look at that yet. Okay, and family, do you want to open this one because you're my family? No, you can't because we're opening it for the camera. Yes! <laughs> Says Christmas wishes. Can we just take in how sparkly it is? I'm talking to my mom more than you guys. I'm sorry. I'm excited. Okay, it says, To Jay and family, wishing you a very happy Christmas and a very, very happy new year. From PJ Ferguson and family. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Merry Christmas to you and happy holidays and new years and all of that jazz. It's to me because I'm more important than you. Thank you with much appreciation. 2J, thank you so much for all the support and faith you have shown in my stories. Thank you so much from PJ Ferguson. The first thing that he gave me is Cadbury chocolate, which is only sold in England, I think, and it is the most amazing chocolate. He sent it to me last time he sent me a book, which I will talk about later. I'll talk about that book too, just to let you guys know that he has two books out. The thing in the box is this candle holder, and it came with a little tag. And it says, light the candle with wax, melt, relax, and read, and feel closer to the Grigoni. P.S. Be, sa be sure to wear your charm for protection. I don't know what that means because I have not read the book yet, but interesting. It came with Christmas morning fragrance oil. It smells really good. It also has this little one that you put under here and burn it. And then it also came with Christmas Eve. The milk, the wax, the milk. Oh my god, it smells so good! It's cinnamon. How did you know, PJ? It's like one of my favorite smells in the entire world. I think you put it in there and then you burn the candle and it like melts and it smells really good. I have candles like these ones because it's easier to burn. But this, this seems more fun. A lot more fun. The last thing is this little box. Protection, as now you know. Now you know. What do I know? PJ, what do I know? What you say? Little charm necklace, and the charm is the same as the front of the book, which I will show you. So you will be able to see what it looks like, and then the back is an owl. But that is so cool. Finally, the lovely wrapped book. It's like Christmas. Is the first by PJ Ferguson, obviously. And from what he told me, it's like a vampire religious book kind of thing, except some of the views are like super controversial so he said if you're really religious you probably shouldn't pick it up because it could offend you or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure like there's literally a warning on the book it says in this fictional work the author has placed an alternative view on accepted religious characters stories and events some of these views are extremely controversial and he wishes to express caution should you be likely to find this offensive this novel is not for the faint-hearted or the truly devout not religious at all so i can read this without being offended <laughs> he also sent me it is called daddy he sent this to me like a year ago and I never actually read it because I went to school and then I was just busy and totally my fault that I didn't read this I'm so sorry PJ but I'm reading it right now as you can see there's a little bookmark super excited about it but this is about a man named Joe Williams and I believe he gets thrown into jail and it's all about the law and if the 12 jury members make the right decision or not but it doesn't say like what he did or why he was thrown in jail so I don't really know much about either of the books that he sent me, but they they look good and I'm very excited to read them. I'm doing it this Christmas break. 
So that was my PJ Ferguson box Christmas unboxing thing. Thank you so much PJ. This whole thing was incredibly generous of you. I can't believe you sent me all this stuff. It is so amazing and it made my entire day. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Pass around drugs. Yeah, that's a dairy. We're doing weed. Just kidding, kids, don't do weed. Don't do any drugs. I don't do drugs. Never done a drug in my life. Being so bad at this camera thing because I haven't done this in a while. I'm literally just talking to mom. <laughs> so there's no, I haven't done it in a long time and I don't even know where the button is. What? Where's my button? Well, how do I turn this off?